Welcome everybody, this is Chris Arter with Chaos and Comics reviewing Excellence number two. You can find me at Chaos and Comics on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you can also subscribe, like this video uh, if you like these reviews and what we're talking about here. Um, Excellence was a comic book I really enjoyed the first issue of. The second issue is sort of continuing that feel. I think what... Um, Let's talk about the creators. Brandon Thomas is the creator and writer. Uh, Carrie Randolph is the creator and artist. Emilio Lopez is the colorist. Everyone does a great job here. And the arc is, or the driver of the story, isn't being a wizard. Uh, the urban, I don't want to call it urban fantasy. You start to think of like Twilight for some reason. But what I mean is it's urban as it's set in a city and it's fantasy because it's wizards and cloaks. But the real thing is this, just this lack of experience that um, the uh, younger Dales has. I can't remember anyone's name anymore because I guess I suck. But uh, the lack of experience that, um, oh, Spencer. Lack of experience that Spencer Dales has who, we, who was able to become a magician in the last issue, uh, even though he didn't really, uh, his powers hadn't activated his whole life. Uh, and now we get this thing where he clearly doesn't understand what's, what's going on and he's just uh, acting out in uh, youthful exuberance as if he knows everything that's going on. And he's getting his ass kicked because of it. He's sure to learn lessons. And it looks like what one of the things that's really going to keep me with this is that the love story is between a son and a father. A son and a father getting to know each other and you could tell that that's where this is going, at least at least in early on. Uh, I expect the dad to die, maybe in the second arc? I don't know. Uh, but maybe not. Maybe he has a, a much longer, uh, bigger thing to say about it. But uh, Spencer Dales here is just terrified that if he loses his magic, his dad's not going to love him or care for him as much. And, you know, there's a whole hierarchy. There are ten families, wizarding families. and. And it's pretty interesting, pretty good world building. Ever since uh, Sleepy, Sleepy Reader 666 mentioned that, which I guess I didn't realize or I did realize, that you know you start these image books that are high fantasy, but they get canceled before uh, the writer can really develop what he wanted to develop and world build. There is a lot of world building that has to happen here. And at the same time, uh, Brandon Thomas has to continue to develop that personal relationship between father and son, uh, which through two issues, he's got done a good job uh, starting it. So probably six issues, uh, really, really setting that tone, really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Establishing it and, uh, and then see where he goes from there. The, the book seemed popular enough that it's, it could go on for a little while. Um, there's part of me that just wishes they would just write, just stop doing monthlies and just write them in uh, six issue arcs. I'd rather just buy arcs, to be honest. Let's just do that from now on. How about that, guys? Anyway, uh, still really enjoyed this. Still a very good uh, comic book. And if there's something that can make you decide not to buy this in, in trade is just the beautiful actual design of this book. Um, you know, just the fonts, the way you know, the covers, at least the first two have all gone together. Hopefully that doesn't change. Um, you know, there's the back cover. So real simple, real simple, but simple meaning elegant. Um, here's the back matter. So that sort of feels like a, an African motif more than the others did to me. But um, overall, just awesome. It is definitely worth a buy. Uh, you should read it no matter how you decide to read it, whether it's just, you know, picking up second printings of the first issue or if you find the first printing, grabbing this one or uh, waiting a few months and, and just getting in trade. Definitely worth your time and money. Very good. Very good book so far, at least.